Shit. <laughs> yeah, we just say fucked up for us. Yeah. Damn, everybody thinks my mustache hates Jews now. I yeah, don't right. know. Shit, I am Jewish. What people think? People should just like, like shave, try to bring it. Well, they should do something. I've noticed nobody's tried to do anything new with a mustache lately. You know what they and should do? And we're like in the future. What? Do a reverse Hitler. <laughs> it's, got, it's like a little patch of emptiness right uh-huh, there, like a uh-huh. like look, like you grow a mustache on both sides. I, I was lip, just but, about to say that. Like empty, damn. like you know, a little you're gap re- in between it. You're reading my goddamn robot mind again. Stop the reverse that. Yes. Hitler. Yes, bring that shit in. Yeah, like do like you can do like little lines in it too. Like I don't know. Shit. Yeah, shit. I don't know where this is going, but yeah. See, man, <laughs> let us write night at the, yeah. night, night at the museum. Shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but like, no, it, like I said, it, it looks fucking retarded. I. I understand it's going to make huge money, and, and you know the the funny thing is it, it's coming out this Friday, right? So I, I'm going to be real curious uh, to see how this does uh, against Terminator. Yeah, they think so. they think it's being uh, counter programming, but it's not like it's going up against a rated R movie. All the kids uh-huh. are going to are going to want to go yeah. see Terminator. I have to I have to say though, yeah, it's like <sighs> with all the kid, yeah, all the kids are like done because there hasn't really been a kids movie out in a while, right? And, and, oh, and, that's another one. That's that's the other one that's coming up. Uh, up. Up, uh, well, yeah, yeah, that, that's coming. Yeah, we got, too. we got. Uh, yeah. uh, but I, I yeah. but I think what school's getting ready to let out soon too. School's so, out, man. Is it already out? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, I know. Anyway, well, not. I see a whole bunch of kids walking around. They should be at school. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I it's uh, it's going to be kind of uh, strange to see night of the museum just like take over at the box office, even though. I've never seen the first one. I mean, I hear people say they like it. I've even heard some of the some of these actors in this new movie are, are, are claim that they saw the first one. They they had to be in it. Like they were dying to be in this film, this next film. And I'm like, really? Why? Because it's a good vehicle. It make, yeah. made money. Got them some exposure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Shit, I, I don't, I don't Get know. some royalties yeah. when it's on fucking USA. Yeah, or all that, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's profitable to be in that movie somehow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so you got that coming out. You got a uh, uh, up coming out next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, Transformers, as I said, um, yeah. I know that there's Drag Me to Hell. Isn't that, isn't that coming out? It's coming out, but I'm week? still yeah, it's coming out, but I don't know if that's gonna be a blockbuster. I don't know. If you know, you're right. Uh, yeah, you're right, and it sucks because I mean I'm really pumped to see that film, but I'm just scared like it's just gonna get lost in the shuffle because I mean honestly, the trailer. Every time I see that trailer, there's nothing really that sticks out. It, uh, no, it looks. It, you yeah. know what? It, it, look, I know people will argue with me who love the movie, who have mm-hmm. seen it. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. I I, mean, I like that movie a lot. Mm-hmm. We saw it. I, yeah. I'm I'm rooting for the movie. Mm-hmm. But you got to be honest. Mm-hmm. That trailer looks like all these PG-13, yeah. you know, Japanese horror ripoffs, mm-hmm. teen horror movies it with does. no blood. I mean, it's, it's not a very thrilling. No, not at all. Trailer. Even even like the the title, the 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 title credits of the film, like when they show it, it looks like a generic horror film coming out like you just wouldn't yeah. care yeah. i mean i'm i honestly t- i was telling hi i was like man for that fucking trailer they need to just put out like from the creator of evil dead evil dead 2 and show some clips from evil dead 1 and 2 and show <laughs> and, and show just, the craziest shit from yeah. that because they're trying to i think a lot of people are gonna be caught off guard too because mm-hmm. it's not really that scary of a movie it's mm-hmm. a comedy right and so man that movie's gonna be a hard sell i think mm-hmm. yeah. I, I think it might do okay right but uh man I'm looking at some of the movies that are coming out later right. on down the line, though. Uh-huh. Like and how later? Like after summer or what? Yeah, like in the fall and, oh, in, oh. and, in, the, and in the winter. Okay. Uh, and like you can go on a, Looking into the future. Quote. Yeah, I'm going... Exactly. I haven't even saw that far. I know. I got on my, <laughs> got on my, my Coke bottle glasses looking at, <laughs> looking at these trailers. Uh, no, these... Well, they have them on Yahoo. Like, as I was digging around on Yahoo mm-hmm. and they had all these trailers up. I'm like, you know, these are movies that I've been trying to look forward to. Let me go ahead and look at some of the trailers yeah. for these. And I have to take back a lot of shit I've been talking about. All of these movies, man. Mm-hmm. What have you been uh, talking about? Well, for one thing, well, I didn't know if I was talking shit, but uh, I did not know that Guy Ritchie mm-hmm. is directing Sherlock Holmes. Oh, yeah? With you Robert Downey Jr. I didn't know that. I, I mean, okay. I, guess, I guess because I heard that there was another uh, Sherlock Holmes project in the works right. with Will Ferrell. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it's I got confused. Like, it's, yeah, it's supposed to be like a comedy, obviously. But uh, now I have, I have to admit, I looked at Guy's, uh-huh. Guy Ritchie's name mm-hmm. on that trailer. With uh, the description, I was mm-hmm. like, "Fuck, man, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna blow." Yeah. And then I saw the trailer, and I'm like, "Man, this actually looks pretty funny." Really? It looks, it actually looks wait, pretty wait, good. Funny? Yeah. As in the comedy? Uh, comedy adventure. Oh, okay. I mean, like, I'm not talking about like slapstick. I'm talking mm-hmm. about like clever comedy. Okay. Like, <clears throat> like very smart uh-huh. and visually very creative. Mm-hmm. It, 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 and the trailer looks cool, man. I mean, it really? looks like, yeah, it looks like the kind of thing that you knew Guy Ritchie was capable of doing mm-hmm. if he stopped ripping off Quentin Tarantino. Right. Uh, which, or if he, uh, if we, or if he stopped 
try and if he stopped ripping off himself. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's yeah. like he ripped off Tarantino, and he kept doing the same thing over that yeah. he did in the mm-hmm. beginning. Even though I love Snatch, no, I'm I love Snatch talk, too. Yeah, but after shit. Snatch, it's like you know at, what was what was the last <laughs> rock one and roller? Yeah, I felt like that was like a pale imitation of Snatch. I was like, yeah, well, you're, you're trying, and but this, this of course he did swept boring. away, yeah. which was which <laughs> thank God it, nobody you know, saw. I don't Madonna know, put that, I don't know a soul that saw that film. Madonna put her Snatch on him, and he was like, shit. All I gotta do is like I live for Madonna. I gotta make a movie for Madonna. So he did right. swept away, and of course, he, he, I think he he uh, he came to reality real quick. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck you, Madonna. Yeah. You made me make this shit here. I said it once, and I'll say it again. Never fucking direct a movie with your goddamn girlfriend. Yeah, or wife. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Rob Zombie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know what the next Halloween is. So you saw about. Sherlock Holmes, and it looked cool. Yeah. Now, yeah. here's something interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, there's a whole slew mm-hmm. of like these po- post-apocalyptic movies coming out. Oh yeah, like we had it with Terminator, and Carlisle was mentioning this, but mm-hmm. I didn't really think about it until today when I was watching like two other trailers. Mm-hmm. And here's another thing: we had also mentioned on the last show, like, man, can they do like really edgy like sci-fi or horror for mm-hmm. for for, for, for a family family film or a kids film? Mm-hmm. Oh. And we might have it here. Really? First of all, let me tell you what I'm talking about. We just had yeah. Terminator, right? Post-apocalyptic movie, of course. Robots out there fucking shit up. Yes. The nuke the, the, nuke the world. Mm-hmm. Hunting humans down. Fucking shit up. Fucking shit up. Just, just the way we like it. Yeah. <laughs> just the way you like it, right? That's right. Your, your peoples. Yeah. Your pe- your peoples are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at uh, these other two trailers, man, mm-hmm. and they both, they both have post-apocalyptic themes. One yeah. is an adult drama, and mm-hmm. the other looks like it's might, it might be oh, sort okay. of a, a family CG film, it, okay. or it might not be. I don't know. It mm-hmm. could be PG-13. Well, I know, it's, I know the one you, the other, the first one you're talking Which about, one? Is The Road. The Road, yeah. man. I'm actually reading that book right now. How man, is that book grim or what? It, I, I've just started reading it. I, I just started like a couple days ago, and uh, uh, the, the the first part, yeah, where it's just uh, a guy and his son, and they're just with, with a shopping cart. They're just walking through the wasteland and it's like every every Damn. moment that sounds like they're, the, they're they're just waiting to die basically that sounds like the first time me and my dad went grocery shopping together yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just walking oh. through the wasteland my dad and i just quiet you guys are walking through the neighborhood with your shopping cart going to the garage sales <laughs> no but no we were walking together in a grocery store my mom was in the hospital and forced me and my dad to go grocery shopping oh i thought you guys were homeless I'm no <laughs> and my dad asked me on a leash like a dog you know yeah. i can't get away come on call it no i wish we were homeless i would replace been the wheel call Man, my dad, we will, we will, uh, he made me push the cart, mm-hmm. and I don't know what it is. I've never been, maybe there's a rhythm when you go shopping with your uh-huh. mom and you know it, but when you shop with your dad, you're thrown off. Yeah. And for some reason, I kept hitting the back of my dad's ankle with the, Ooh. With the uh, shopping cart. <laughs> and, and my, you know, I never really had any kind of real no. interaction with my dad. Oh. So, you know, I mean, he come no, home. No we, cart, we cart talk. training? No, no, no. We talk when he come home, but we were going to the grocery store. I hit, I hit his heels one time, uh-huh. and he just, he didn't even look back. He just kind of stopped, and mm-hmm. you heard him like, and then I hit his heels again accidentally, yeah. like about ten minutes later. And mm-hmm. he—you could tell—he just this time he like kind of stood up and put his head up, but he didn't look back. Yeah, he just kind of said. And then I did a third time, and, and to myself, I was a little kid. Even oh, I thought, like, shit. I'm fucking up, yeah. <laughs> and, fucking up bad. Yeah, and my dad, <laughs> my dad turned around and, and he looked at me, <laughs> yeah. and, and he said. Don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that was that it? Was that, that, it? that, that was it? And I was already pissing on myself. Yeah. I thought he was gonna turn around, grab a, a can of soup, and hit you in the head. <laughs> God oh, damn it, car! <laughs> you know, drive. You learn how to drive this thing. <laughs> like you go, like you go grab the end of the car and start chasing after me, yeah. like running me down. Like if you had a point of view, you see me running. All of, a, all of a sudden, I disappear under that car. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, boy? Are you blind and retarded? You can see right through the goddamn basket, boy. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. No, I think I stayed like I, I was in the next aisle. Next time, I was like, I, I would not follow my. Dad. You're hiding underneath the cocoa ruse. Come on, boy. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Throw I it over, you, the, boy. Throw it over the shelf. I'll catch it. <laughs> but no, the road. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I guess for people who don't know the book, it's uh, McCormick. Uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah. Um, shit. Now you he wrote. Me. He he wrote uh, he, No Country for Old Men. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he. Uh, what Cardney McC- uh, Cardney McCormick or something like that? Anyway, yeah, you'd have to look. Yeah, I have to yeah, look it up. Anyway, McCormick. Yeah, Mc, Mc, yeah, McCormick. What's what? no? I'm fucking. Don't up. even try. Exactly. You know, I'm not. I'm not going to try it. Millions of people out there yelling. You. It's I'm, McCormick. Yeah, Robert McCormick. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, but he. Uh, 
He wrote No Country for Old Men. He has his book. And mm-hmm. in, in this book, now correct me if I'm wrong, because mm-hmm. I'm looking at the trailer here. Like I said, I'm only about well, you know the 20 premise. pages in it. Yeah, I know the premise. Because I, I thought that I know was, the basic premise, but well, yeah. I thought it was after a nuclear war, mm-hmm. right? And the it, but if you watch the trailer, it looks like it's an environmental disaster mm-hmm. uh, that occurred, mm-hmm. and uh, it set off a big destructive, disastrous chain of events. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, so in this in this uh, in this book, and you can see this in the movie, uh, a guy's walking with his Viggo Mortensen mm-hmm. plays the uh, dad. Mm-hmm. And Charlie Theron is in there for a short time as the wife, I think, in the in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but they they're, they're making their way down to the coast because mm-hmm. they can't survive another winter. I don't know if it's a nuclear right. winter or a disa- or an environmental uh, a winter, but yeah. they uh, they have to make their way down to the coast. They don't know if it's going to work, but they th- right. they're thinking that if they get down there, the weather might be a little more tolerable for survival. Right. Mm-hmm. And along the way, they run into cannibals, and it's almost like. A darker version, more realistic version of Mad Max. It's like it's not as adventurous. It's like no, here people are ready to eat your ass, are ready right. to like turn against it's humanity, turn against humanity. Right. Well, and, there is no more humanity. Civilization yeah. is gone. Yeah, and and like basically, yeah. But yeah, it seems like the strong point is the uh, is the father's, you know, just his uh, defending his, his son. Yeah, well, yeah, that and just protecting his son and making sure they can make it through the night. I mean, because that's one of the bigger challenges. Uh, you know, at least the parts that I've read, it's just that's just the elements that they have to deal with. And they really get, you know, they get into it as far as, you know, um, finding dry places just to sleep because, you know, they can wake up, you know, if they, if they get sick then that's it, they're, they're gone. So, uh, that's, that, yeah, that's, but somebody it, said to read that book mm-hmm. in the sunshine or, in a, <laughs> or in, a, in a really cheery place. Yeah, like right. they'll get to, a, it'll get to a point where you want to kill yourself. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> and, and you got to be able to look up and see a flower on the wall just, or something. Yeah, it's just them trying to make it through the, through the elements and, uh, Damn. Yeah. So uh, it, I haven't really gotten into the meat of it yet. I will yeah. tell you, uh, and I told Carlisle this, there was, somebody pretty much ruined a lot of stuff in a review. I think it was a New York Times book review. This is years ago. Oh, I read really? this review. Yeah. About that book? About that book. Okay, and they, sure they sold me it. on the book, but I tell you, man, you, in, you, you were really in for some grim shit, like okay. the cannibalism that occurs in here. Yeah. I've, 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 I, I was, I'm not going to yeah. tell you anything, but I've never heard I've, anybody describe cannibalism okay. like this. Okay. Because I've, I, I mean, that's one of the elements I heard about the book, but that's about it. So I don't know, I don't know how detailed. They and I haven't that, read but, it, but I think I'm going to read it. Yeah. Uh, oh, you should. Yeah. I mean, surprisingly, uh, yeah. It's one of those. It's one of those. Uh, when I relieve myself in the in the bathroom, I'll pick it up and and just flip through. Let, and there's times when you just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm letting that coolant, that releasing that <laughs> that that coolant of mine. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it, there's times when I, I don't want to put it down, but. Yeah, no, it sounds like a great book, but you that should, trailer yeah. looks looks amazing. I have man. not seen the trailer I'm, yet. Uh, Part of me doesn't really want to. I, I'm going to try to uh, read that, uh, read the rest of the book while I'm while I'm gone. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, so looking forward to that movie, mm-hmm. man. I don't know if it'll be good or not, but yeah. the trailer has me sold. Yeah. It looks, I was trying it looks to look really who cool. directed it, but I can ah, nobody I can't remember. I, I saw the guy's name, but it, you know nothing that struck a chord with me as far as uh, anything else he's done. Yeah, so. yeah, I I remember them uh, saying in it saying who directed mm-hmm. that, and I was like, oh, I re- I'm, yeah. I'm familiar with that guy's work. And you know, the but, funny thing is, when I when I saw that book, uh, I picked it up, uh, not knowing what it was about, only because I I saw the cover, and I swear to God, on the cover of the book, it's a uh, it's a uh, Viggo Mortensen, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He looks so much like Christian Bale on that cover. When like 